I'm Captain Green. Welcome to episode 5 of The Green Pirate, where we'll be talking about solid state lighting. Now, oh, 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 it didn't break. Well, Dr. Alder, tell me, what is this solid state lighting? Solid state lighting is lighting that is made with LEDs. Here is an LED. Now, see this little thing? Very, very tiny, tiny thing. It is an LED. And when I take a battery, you can see how easily. They light up. Very little electricity is required to light an LED. Now, some people take these LEDs and put them in little batteries like this. This is just a little watch battery and tape them on there and then attach a pin now some other people also use magnets and once they are attached to a magnet then they can throw it to a magnetized surface and that's what's called a throwy uh, sometimes people do this uh, as an alternate form of graffiti can't say that I support graffiti, but this certainly makes my outfit look a little less shabby. Now one thing you'll notice is that it's a very directional light. It doesn't, look, see, look, it's creating a lot of light in that one spot, pointed at the video camera. See, lots of light, but only in one spot. Very directional light. Now, to show you how long this will last, I'm going to wear this until I escape. I mean, as long as we continue filming this uh, show. So, now, a solid state light has lots of LEDs. This one, I believe, has 25, perhaps, inside. And you can't really see them because the surface outside hides them. But as you can see, this will go into a regular uh, regular socket, a regular lighting socket. And here's another one that has even more LEDs. Now this one is the equivalent about of above of about a 60 watt light bulb. And this one is the equivalent of about a 25 watt light bulb. This is a 60 watt bulb. This is a 60 watt solid state bulb. Incandescent bulb, solid state bulb. The reason this is called 60 watt is because it uses 60 watts of power. This, on the other hand, uses 3 watch, watts. Now look, we're going to take a look at how much each of these uses in electricity, and we'll even look at a compact fluorescent, even though we're not talking about them today. Here we have a 60-watt bulb connected to a kilowatt electric meter, and as you can see, it's actually using 53 watts of electricity. 
the 95% of the electricity that goes into an incandescent bulb actually comes out in the form of heat, which is why they're used in incubators and also in easy-bake ovens. Now here's a compact fluorescent, which also has a large portion going to heat, but here we're only using 20 watts of electricity. This compact fluorescent is the equivalent to a 100 watt bulb in the amount of light that it produces, yet it only uses 20 watts of electricity. Now we have an LED light, or solid state light, that makes the equivalent of 60 watts of light for an incandescent, and as you can see, this only takes 3 watts of electricity. 3 watts as opposed to the 53 watts that the incandescent bulb was taking. This LED bulb creates the equivalent of a 25 watt incandescent bulb, and yet it uses less than 1 watt. It in fact uses the equivalent of about 0 0.03 watts. The government uses LEDs for traffic signals to reduce pollution and electricity consumption. Various LEDs are found in the home, including this children's science project. What be the benefit for using this in comparison to this? Yes, other benefits is that LEDs usually last as from 100,000 to a million hours. This can burn for all, as much as a million hours and not break. In comparison to this, which goes after 1,000 to 2,000 hours. 1 million hours, 1,000 to 2,000 hours. Which one do you want? Even this, 30,000 hours. 1 million hours, 30,000 hours. Which one do you want? And, look, shock resistant. And, they're plastic and metal. They're not very environmentally dangerous. Whereas this, this has mercury in it. And it's glass. This is glass. You step on these, and you're going to get hurt. Or an animal's going to get hurt. Or a little child's going to get hurt. This, plastic. You're not going to get hurt. This, mercury. It's got poison in it. Poisonous mercury. Bad to the environment. Bad for you. And bad for animals. And bad for plants. What be the downsides? Yes, there are minor downsides. For example... This costs about $75. $75 for the equivalent of 60 to 70 watts of light. Well, that, that's a bit expensive. But considering that this can last to up to a million hours, it's, and how little electricity it uses, it's very, very cost effective. This one costs about $60 and again is still very cost effective in the long run. The initial cost is the concern it's when you compare it to something like this that might cost you five dollars and something like this which I don't even know how cheap they are but probably around five dollars or less. The concern is that no manufacturer currently creates an LED bulb that produces more light than a 60 watt bulb. So you have to be aware of where you're going to put the bulb and how much light it's going to produce prior to buying it. Until next time, may your lighting be shatterproof.